Good evening, Yaakov. It's Khalid. Hey, Khalid, where are you? I can't see you. Yeah, I can't access, I don't know, uh, Zoom, or at least this program is having trouble accessing this laptop microphone. I might have to take some time later on to reconfigure it, but I, I'm here. I, the mic is working. I'm here. Khalid, we have two uh, presenters today, correct? Yes. Uh, I believe Cass Collins is here representing. Hi, Ms. Collins? Hi. Yeah. Hi, how are Before you? Before we yeah. start, one of them is for renewal and one of them is for a change of owner? Yes. Which is which? I'm uh, sure. Ms. Co I believe Ms. Collins is for the renewal and, hold on one second, where's my other document here? Gladys Venture 2 is for the corporate change. That's what I thought, I just wanted to confirm. I have them in front of me here. Um, Cass Collins is here with us. Uh, I don't know. We have here, I see we have uh, more, more than, we have two people here with us. Yes. My husband, Jim Stratton. Hi, Jim. Hello. You know I mean, but there's also a third person here that I don't uh, recognize. Uh, my name's Robert Callahan. I'm from Mike Kelly's office. I'm here for Gladys, too. Oh, okay. You're, oh, you're all from Gladys. No, 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 just me. You're from Gladys and you're from Bar 4. Bar 4. The, the new owner from Gladys will be joining us shortly. All right. So I want to say, like, first of all, tonight's the first night of the Hanukkah holiday. Yes. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Hanukkah to you. Hanukkah. And I really was not going to have this meeting because also holiday, but I felt that you are uh, making an effort to come. And you know, under the law, you're not required to come. Renewal is not, at least the renewal is not required to come. It's only a recommended. Mm -hmm. There is no requirement. So I felt I don't want to inconvenience anybody as a result of my holiday. Thank or, you. So I said, let's go with it anyway. I don't know if we're going to have a big crowd of, of members or, or, or committee members because of the holiday. We're going to try to do it fast, and um, I'm going to recommend that we're not going to, I don't think we're going to have quorum, but I'm going to re recommend that the board support it anyway, because um, you did your part, and you came, and you came, and you presented. And I want to say that I've, I've, as a member of Crown Heights, I've lived in Crown Heights since uh, 19, I was born here in 82. And any small business that is operating and continues to operate, to me, they're, they're heroic, <laughs> especially with everything going on and the challenges and the risks and the fact that a business is staying and opening an operation and safely doing their best to be safe, to me, is already a, a plus. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our son um, manages the business on a daily basis. And he was, he's gonna join, I think, tonight. He may call in. Um, and he's really the hero in our family because he's there every day and keeping it safe and clean and keeping the you know minimum number. Yeah, so. Khalid, can you stream this on Facebook? I believe I can. Give me one second. All right. Where are you, where are you currently? Uh... Where are you currently? You're in Brooklyn now? No, we're talking about oh. to us. Yeah, yeah. No, we're not in Brooklyn now. We we left um, uh, a year ago last spring. And we are in our used to be our summer home in Sullivan County. Oh, I, I know the rabbi. I know the rabbi very well over there in. Uh, oh. oh. A number of the rabbis. I know the rabbi. In, I know the rabbi in Solomon County. I know the rabbi in Kingston. Uh huh. Hmm. Well, um, yeah, we're in Narrowsburg, which is a little like a hamlet town on the Delaware. He right. Lives, where did they, Where did uh, uh, Clinton get married? Um, where was the Clinton wedding upstate? Oh, that's on the other side of the river. In um. I forget the name. I forget the town. Yeah, but, I'll tell you yeah they're on the other. They're on the other side of the Hudson. We're closer to the Delaware, so we're far western. I, I, yeah, I, I, as a kid growing up, uh, the Rhinebeck. Oh yeah, Rhinebeck. Oh, sure. It's the eastern part. That's the eastern part of. <laughs> so as a kid growing up, I used to go to uh, Tannersville for for the summer. Sure, sure, Tannersville. Yeah. We used to go there sometimes in the winter when the kids were little. We had a 
special that's where, my, <laughs> that's where my summer place is <laughs> in Tannersville uh just outside of it in North Lexington oh, oh wow okay. hmm. I mean it was great <laughs> Some of the happiest moments of my child memories we had an we lived in Crown Heights and we had an ear deal it's very unusual in the city community at that time to have a uh, dog we had an ear deal oh they're we for a summer we rent the house. I think in those days, like eight hundred dollars a month. Yeah. Today it's like five grand to rent the home there. Yeah. But we would rent, we would rent for a summer, and it was just incredible. The mountains, and then you know the lakes, and. Yeah, we spent every summer up here, and then uh, when we sold another business, we um, moved up here full time. We're semi-retired, you know. Great. But, um, I see you have some beautiful arch behind you. Thank you. Yeah, that's. And we have a we have a. That's art from a dog next to us. Oh that's, wow! That's art from uh, Soho, where we used to we used to hail from. Oh wow! <laughs> anyway, Jeremy's so here, by the way. There. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Jeremy. All right. I think I, Rashida is the, is also on the. She's a longtime member of the community board and the public safety committee. I she she joined us. Okay. So I think that. Um, you should start by, again, it's because it's the holiday, we're going to try to make this meeting very um, short and to the point. Um, uh, Khalil, are we streaming live on Facebook? Not yet, Yaakov. I'm trying to get these settings. Zoom is different with WebEx. WebEx has the... Oh, if, so let me tell you how you do it. You, you, pray, you would, on the, on, the, on, the bottom, so on the bottom of Zoom, mm -hmm. is there an option that says more? Yes, but I have breakout rooms. No, 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 you should have more stream live. Right, exactly. That, that's exactly what I'm saying. Actually, you know what? Let me make you a co-host right well, now. I can let you know if, if, I can let you know if, if, if it's possible. If, if it's not set up, then you're not going to be able to do it. But I can let you know right away. If you make me a co-host, okay, you are a co-host now, but I don't see any more. Let me try making you host. Can no, you no, host? don't do that. Don't do that. You stay host. It's fine. We tried, and uh, it's possible it's not set. Is there an option that says more? When you click on more, what do you see? Breakout rooms. That's it. Yes, that's it. It might be we have. Yeah, I have to visit the settings and in, in our. Have to change account. the settings. So we would do it going forward. I think you do it before the general board meeting. Yes, so most we, definitely. We could uh, um, stream it live if you want. Be in touch tomorrow. I'll show you how to do it. All right. I appreciate that, Yakov. Yes. Good evening. Welcome to the Public Safety Committee of Community Board Nine. I thank you both for coming. As I said, um, especially if you're coming for a renewal. Under the law, there is no requirement, and we appreciate that you come, that you're coming, and you're presenting again before the board. Um, and we'd love to hear about your establishment. And again, we are um, incredibly moved at all small businesses in the district that continue to operate and operate safely despite the tremendous challenge of COVID and and financial stress. We 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 wish you the best, and we hope that you're successful. And, and uh, um, why don't you start? Who's hey. going to start? Uh, I'll start for us. Um, our bar is Bar by You. It's on Nostrand Avenue between Lefferts and Lincoln. And um, we totally renovated the storefront um, at our own expense and uh, about two years ago. Yeah. Well, a lot, we of, it, a we lot of it by ourselves, by the way. Yeah, a lot of it you know, with family DIY. Um, and uh, I think we did a beautiful job. Um, people seem to really love the space. Um, and- but You're in Nostrand and Lefferts. Between Le Lincoln and Lefferts, yeah. If you're familiar with it. I, mm -hmm. I, I am familiar with it, sure. And we have- we, Carol, I'm on Carol in New York, so you're quite close. Okay. Right. So we- um, we are a jazz bar. We promote live jazz, acoustic jazz. And um, we partner with, well, Jeremy can tell you more about this, but we partner with a, an organization called Keyed Up that also wants to promote live jazz. And um, so we have, you know, a menu of cocktails and small plates and, uh, and we do live jazz <laughs> almost every evening. During the pandemic, we've of course had to really tamp down in terms of um, the number of customers we can have. 
We were lucky we have a beautiful backyard that we also renovated when we moved into the 1066 and made it really comfortable, pretty place to be. So that was great during the summer. And, um, you know, even though we had reduced occupancy, we still did, uh, you know, an okay business, but it was necessary for us to ask for a rent reduction from our landlord. And we did, and he came through for us and we were very grateful for that. So we now have a rent reduction through uh, the end of the pandemic, whenever that is considered <laughs> to be. When we had 100% occupancy. The landlords, are, he said no, it's been left rates. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Breskin and uh, a, a and B Strivers, it's called. Well, we hear so many negative stories about landlords. I appreciate you bringing a positive story. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm hoping that that says to the board that we were good tenants. Uh, we didn't cause trouble. We've never had a, you know, an objection to our being there. We, we put a lot of effort into soundproofing so that the, the people upstairs wouldn't be, you know, um, wouldn't have a problem with us and they they haven't they mostly enjoy the the offerings they often hang out there so what what jeremy's been able to do because he's a jazz musician and he has a lot of context in the business is that he has brought together some really terrific um, jazz musicians and bands and and started a live stream on our facebook page and we've been able to get some donations through that. And, uh, and that's also helped us. So we, we still employ our main bartender and uh, he was with us from the start. So again, I hope that shows the community board that we're also good employers. How long are you, are, are you in operation? Uh, we've been in operation for two years. And we've been in the building for three years because it took us that long to get get it renovated. Jeremy, you know a guy, Mayor Rosenberger? What's his, what's the name? Mayor Rosenberger, he's a city jazz player, lives on a uh, president between Brooklyn, New York. I don't know him, but he might come into the bar. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> Anything you want to add and... Uh... Yeah, just the, the neighborhood's been great. Uh, we're just really lucky that we can, you know, continue to do what we've been doing and... Uh, uh, yeah, we're really lucky to have a backyard that's kind of made it possible. And uh, yeah, that's all, I guess. We hear clientele, diverse. Diverse, yeah. <laughs> Look at and that's, that's something that's very important to us and in our programming and all of that too. That's great. So again, I'm going to recommend to the board, I understand that Khalid looked into, uh, reached out to the fire department and the police department Mm -hmm. And there's no uh, records of any complaints. And you're just coming for a renewal, correct? Right. That's sure. right. So as I said, a renewal, it's it's fairly standard. If there are no complaints, usually up to the liquor authority. And you're not even required to appear before us, even though it's recommended. But I'm going to recommend to the board that they um, give you a letter of support anyway. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your time. Um, you may want to check with Khalid if you want to attend the uh, full board meeting and uh, maybe the beginning of it. So you'll just present briefly. Okay. Um, that's on third, what is that Thursday? Next yes. Thursday, Khalid, right? Yes, next Thursday, the 17th, 7 p.m. So I will follow up with the login and de details similar to uh, prior to this meeting. And it's usually, we typically do the licensing at the beginning where yes. the questions are. So you, you don't have to stay through the entire meeting. Okay. But um, I would recommend showing, you know, coming for the beginning. Mm -hmm. I'll try to be there and introduce you as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. And I, I just end with, we, we are all hoping and praying that in the near future, we will be able to uh, do away with all these uh, health recommendations, meaning we won't need it anymore. Not yeah. today. And that everybody will be able to travel and, and, and celebrate safely. Amen. We all <laughs> meeting in person again. Yeah. And if you want to live stream some jazz with us, you know. I'm going to actually introduce if Jeremy doesn't, I'm going to, I'm going to, next time I see Mayor, I'm going to tell him to reach out to Jeremy. 
Great. He, he, has cool. a, he has some kind of Hasidic jazz. It may be an interesting twist. Maybe there could be some kind of multicultural event or something. Excellent. Excellent. Great. Please Looking do. Forward. Good luck, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Roberts, I think it's you, right? Mr. Callahan, you're still muted. Go ahead. Yes, a little problem with the unmute button. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, basically it's a corporate change. This is a, a Moe's. We're at 453 Rogers Avenue between Lincoln and Rogers, right, right, yes. right on the corner. So the restaurant's been in existence since 2016. It has a full liquor license. So there's a gentleman there named William Garfield. He's been the manager there since the beginning. Um, he's bought the assets of the restaurant from the owners and he just wants to continue um, the history in the, the business. Uh, he loves the business. It's very popular in the neighborhood. Who, who owns it now? Uh, the old owner is, just give me one minute, uh, Michael Jacober. And he wants to sell it to who? to William Garfield, who's been the manager there. I see Michael Jacoba to William Garfield, who's the manager of this business. And, as, and, and because there's a sale, you're required to um, come before the board again. Yes. Has any of the hours changed? No. The menu is uh, gonna be basically the same. It's gonna be the same operation, just the manager is buying the establishment. Is there, is, is, are, are, um, is the former owner going to have anything to do with the restaurants once, once it's sold? No. So he's leaving, he's out? Yes. He's, you think it's COVID related? Uh, no. All right, again, where are you located again? Uh, 453, 455 Rogers. Right, that's Rogers and what? Lincoln. Rogers and Lincoln. Yeah. Actually, if you, here's, here's, uh, eh, geez, the screen is going to block the photo. There's the photo. Let me see. Hold on. Oh. Beautiful. It looks nice. It's been there since 2016. There's a photo of the inside. So the net you I see you have also letters of support, right? Uh yes, we have uh Khalid, is that even required for a name chat for a ownership change? No, Yaakov, it isn't. Uh they just went above and beyond and completed the whole application, which oh, is appreciated. Oh, oh, oh. Robert, again, we don't have a quorum, but I'm gonna suggest that a full board and Khalid take note if something happens Thursday. Is that, that that we are that both applicants went above and beyond and came to the meeting and um, I'm I'm reviewing now the the application I looked at for uh, through it this morning and I'm reviewing it again now okay and I think that um, it's the holiday season they came and even though that we did not have quorum I think it's not they should not be um, um, they shouldn't suffer as a result of, of of us not coming to the meeting and i'm going to recommend that we support it anyway to, at the full board meeting this uh, coming upcoming next thursday understood all right thank you so much so thank happy you. holidays thank you very much happy holidays to everyone and be in touch with khalid about the meeting please thank you bye yes yes, yes. i will follow up in the email uh, uh moving tomorrow yes good luck bye okay thank you, thank you.